For the sign of Leo, hello and welcome to my Leo. channel. The recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Pentacles, and it's with judgment. Now, the Five of Pentacles, it can point to a time when life could be feeling less than secure. Now, the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. So, you may feel alone, but just know you have the capacity to change that. So, reach out. You could feel like you're being left out in the cold, as though everyone else in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. But just realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is, if you need help, is to go out and ask for it. Because the help that you need, it will come. Now, it's with judgment. Judgment can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and, of course, judgments that are made too fast, too hastily. Hastily. So, if you're prone to doing such things, it could be a sign. could be a sign to slow down, give things, people more thought, more chances. It can also be a time of spiritual awakening. So, the recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Pentacles, clarified by this judgment card. So, what I'm getting for a lot of you Leos is that you, you, you were dealing with someone, maybe you're still dealing with them, but, wow, it wasn't particularly a happy well, the Five of Pentacles is not a happy indicator when it comes to love questions. So maybe it was good at one point, but then your person, they started to make you feel like the connection wasn't secure. Or they could have made you feel, like I said, left out in the cold. Or they did things that made you feel not happy, made you feel alone. Um, just, just not secure about the connection. And it looks like this person, they cast, they cast a lot of judgment on you. They were very judgmental towards you. They probably, they could have been the type that didn't offer forgiveness. Yeah. They expected you to forgive them when they make a mistake, but if you made a mistake, oh, forget about it. There was no forgiveness. You didn't even get a second chance. So they did a lot of jumping to conclusions about you. They made decisions really fast. Very, very judgmental towards you. And they just made you feel left out in the cold. You weren't happy a lot of times with this person, with the connection. So let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the Fool card, and it's with the Two of Cups. Now the Fool card, it can be an indicator of newness in one form or another. Now in many ways it indicates the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting, and trust actually forms the meaning for this card. Now this is considered to be a positive card, but this there could be one thing you're gonna have to make time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see in the picture, he's not. And he's about to land into the Pacific Ocean. That's all blue water below him. So be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Now, this fool card is with the Two of Cups, which can refer to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. 
This card actually says that things are likely to be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So, coming up, the other Fool card, and it's clarified by this Two of Cups. So, it looks like your person, I don't know if you're still with them or not, but... They're, they have you on their mind. They're realizing that you were the perfect mate for them. You were the ideal partner. So this person could be reaching out to you if you, get, if you two are not together. And if you are together, they could be trying to convince you to jump right back in. So I'm getting for a lot of you, you're not with this person now. Because they're, they're wanting you to take a leap of faith. Jump right back in. Yeah. They want you to... They want to start all over again. But they know they have to convince you to... To just take a leap. Take a risk. Jump right back in. They see you as a harmony, a union, a deep connection with the Two of Cups. Yeah. So they want, they could be wanting a new beginning with you. Or they want to try to um, make it feel like it's undergoing a new beginning. But they know they need to convince you to just take a risk. Take a chance. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now we got the tower. And it's with the page of wands. Now the tower, it can be a card about holding too tightly to the status quo. That can be a disaster. You have to roll with the changes. It could be that some people, situations that you have counted on, as being there for you may no, no longer be there in quite the same way. Now, keep in mind, this does not have to be drastic because we all know that change, it's the nature of life. So if we try to prevent it, it actually could be like trying to roll, try, yeah, trying to roll upstream without a paddle. So... If you've been building some castles in the, in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. And that's only going to be a problem if you let it be, because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. Just remember, dreaming is important, but it's also important to be living in a reality. Now, it's with the Page of Wands, which can be warm, ambitious people, high achievers, and if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So try to stay focused. This card does indicate that things you started some time ago, they could start to come into fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new ideas, new approaches. The page brings a really positive energy, but we have to supply the follow through. Yeah, positive energy, but because of the energy of easy distraction, you have to supply the follow-through. So, your challenge, tower clarified by the Page of Wands. So, like I said, your person, they're going to be reaching out to you because this Page of Wands is about messages of love and affection. So, they, they, this person has passion for you. Page of Wands can be about a lot of passion. This person might be younger than you. Okay, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that could mean a student, that could mean youth, immaturity, or just someone younger than you. So they'll be hollering out at you. Hey, what you gonna do? What are we gonna do? You gonna take another chance on me? But it looks like you could be thinking, oh, this is going to be a big disaster. 
Yep. You feel deep down inside. It's a huge tower moment just waiting to happen. So, those are your thoughts. Now, let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Four of Swords. And it's with the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Swords, it can actually signify a need for a break. Could be for normal life. This card, it can also mean that someone in your life, or maybe you, may withdraw for a time. Now, the withdrawal, it's not likely to be permanent. It can also occasionally mean illness, time in the hospital, even more rarely, time in jail. Those are just examples of when you go away and you come right back. So, yeah, just examples. Not that that's going to happen. But it's a sign to give people their space. You could be feeling like you need some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at the word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah, it could be asking for trouble. If you look at the Four of Swords, this man, he went to the top of the mountains. And he took his four dogs and four swords. Yeah, for anyone who wants to make trouble. And then he has a candle. He did bring a candle because he plans on staying overnight. He has a candle lit in his shoe right below his foot. So... There's a need for a rest after some type of struggle. Now, it's with the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups, it's actually a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now. Count your many blessings that we each currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be. Because it's going to be really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So if you can, try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So the outcome for you Leo, we got this Four of Swords clarified by the Five of Cups. Yeah, so what I'm getting is that, yeah, your person feels that, well, like I said, they want you to just jump right on in there and take a leap of faith towards them. They see you as the ideal partner. Maybe now they finally realize you were a great you were the one for them. Uh, they didn't treat you really good with this recent past energy with the five of pentacles. They didn't make you feel really happy. And they were very judgmental. They never gave you a chance for forgiveness for any little small mistake you made. They want you to just jump right back in, though. But all you can see is, all you can see or think about is a, is a disaster just waiting to happen. So they're reaching out to you. They want to talk. They want to try to convince you. Let's do this. Let's, let's hook back up. Let's get back together. So they see that you... You haven't really made a move, and it looks like you might just kind of ghost them. Because like I said, the Four of Swords, they go away. They withdraw. They feel that you've withdrawn. It looks like that's what you're doing. You're just taking, you're taking it slow. You're taking a break. You're taking rest. 
from this conversation. It could be too much for you to hear. Because all, all that's in your head is a big old huge tower moment. So you need to rest after this, this kind of conversation coming from this person. So your person, they're starting to feel a lot of regret here with the, with the Four of Cups. Yeah, they might regret that they made you feel devalued. They made you feel unloved. Well, this is how they could be feeling devalued and unloved by you. Because it looks like you, you, you just, you withdrew. You're withdrawing. And it feels like you're, they feel like you're ghosting them. So, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in, it's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next reading, which should be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. You could actually be them. They could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member. Or it could be a situation. So take the readings for however it resonates. Because these are general readings they're not personal readings so i can never say it enough i thank you so very much for watching i hope you have a great day i hope to see you at the next reading and take care and take care and take care